went home, I was cracked because other people were there. Maybe the club owner auditioned me. Maybe it was a booker. It was something like that. It wasn't mm-hmm. a live, live or die situation. It was a job I wanted, and I ate a bag of dick, and they called me back, and I hosted, and I fucking died. You know? And I didn't blame it on the audience. I didn't blame it on her. She called me years later. I just wasn't ready to host. I was a midlife feature. I was starting to blossom from 20 minutes. And she asked me to host for 10 minutes. It was the most awkward thing I ever did. Yeah. And then, you know, that's why working at a commercial club, it pains my heart what they make the MC go up there and do. He does three minutes and then there's a, this guy's coming, this guy, and they make you do the whole lineup for the whole fucking year. Listen, let the guy do his flow. This is a comedy club. They didn't come here to hear. They got three drinks in them. It's October. They're like, don't forget, <laughs> December 8th, it's the funny. <laughs> you know what? Come on. It's Friday. We got this much attention. This poor MC is going up there to basically be a fucking billboard. Right. So he doesn't really know, but he's learning that. If he does it and he does 50%, they don't give a fuck because they know that's torture. And they want somebody in that will go, I'll do it. You know, and then all of a sudden you show up to that. Now you're doing eight weeks as an MC. And at the end of those eight weeks, you'll go, wait a second. I learned a different muscle. Yeah. And you learn the muscle of control. You learn how to go, hey, how about a round of applause? Lisa Yats waiting in the back. But hold on. Did I talk to you motherfuckers about the time I got nasal spray and it was on? <laughs> And boom, now you have a closer. You have a three-minute closer. You end strong, and you don't go up there and go, all right, real quick, how about a shout-out to the wait staff? Give them two drinks. Listen, you want to come back to the club, you got to give the wait staff a lot of love. If you sound like a fucking robot as an MC, they ain't making no money either. Right. It's big for them. And you don't, don't forget to tip the host. How about giving them a round of applause and that said, no, how about a round of applause for the MCs, for the waitresses, the wait staff, the people in the kitchen, and don't forget to tip them. It's Tuesday night. Everybody wants a little nookie cookie on a Tuesday night. You know, <laughs> you know and then there's two waitresses up front. Put a name to them. Right. You want now, instead of having two people go, they don't like you, you're going to have one person go, I didn't like his act. You're going to have six waitresses go, I don't know about you, but I made $100 because of him. Because he said, look at this girl with the earrings. She needs money for her kid. Look, it's a, <laughs> it's a fucking, if you go up there and go, give her money, I want to take her home later. You're just being a fucking idiot. Right. You know her name if, before you go up there and don't go for the hottest chick and try to fucking be Johnny Suave. Go for the fucking single mom that's got four kids at home. The grandma's watching the kids and she's doing this. You could tell she's been there. She's a little weathered. Get her name first and then work downhill and pick two other ones or pick the guy. He's got purple hair. Boom. Don't go up there and go look at the titties. I want to fucking tit fuck a dog. I saw that. No. So times. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I saw that. Did so, it ever work? <clears throat> tell a chick that on a Thursday night when you just got to the club, I want you to think of that perspective. Unless you're fucking doing blow or doing something crazy, why are you telling the fucking waitress she got big tits for? Right. In front of 200 people. Is that what you want? No. Somebody, how about Liam Syatt? He's got a little dick flick. <laughs> I tried to suck his dick. I had to fucking, you know, get a toothpick. Whatever the fuck. No, that's awful. Okay. I saw all those little things. As a host, you're a positive source. You're going out. You're the first motherfucker they're seeing. Number one, this is rough for you. Have a little life to you. I know it's rough to just go up there. I know you got the suit with the sneakers on. Ha, 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 ha. That's not a host, motherfucker. A host is somebody that welcomes me. Welcome to the fucking hell. I don't give a fuck if they shot the place up and there's still blood behind you. I don't care. Even if there's still fucking blood behind you and there's fly. You ever get to a comedy club and there's blood outside with candles? You ain't, you ain't a comic unless you did that shit. The dog guy's checking for IDs 
There's a fucking candle spot. You I've done that. Man. You talked to George Perez. We all had a club. In fact, I told you a couple of weeks ago, I bumped into my friend's wife. She just got out of jail after doing 90 days, and she still had the bracelet on. She was in there for a comedy night. This was a buck wild fucking comedy club, cock fuckers. Jesus Christ. I also went to see a, the De Niro movie with uh, whatever. With, uh, yeah, he said that was me. good. It was 30 minutes, 45 minutes long for a lot of people don't like that. Anytime you talk to me about Indians, I fucking love it, okay? Whether they killed your uncle or you killed them, I want to hear the saga. I don't want to just see a fucking bunch of savages shoot at each other. That's why I really enjoy the outlaw Josie Wales. I love Clint Eastwood, but I love those fucking Indians and how they portrayed themselves as savages. No, I haven't seen that in a long time. I have to go watch that again. I was saying that was well, something I was thinking about. And uh-huh. It's also Monday. It's time for you to tick tock cocksuckers and get the training. I don't see you, you know, and every week I check on you. And, well, I had to go to church. I had to drive home. You know, that's it. Enough. You're 32 years old. Whatever the fuck you are. How old are you now? Me, 35. All right, then get it together. You should, you know. But yeah, I had to drive a- home from the show. I still took 60 million. Listen, you know, they don't know nothing. Your, yes, your numbers, do. your percentages are getting low. Your lum- numbers are getting low. Anyway, I got a book signing tomorrow night. It's going to be great. I got a lot of fucking family people. I got a lot of North Bergen people coming down. So uh, thank you for coming down. Don't forget, purchases are required. We're going to have a lot of savages there with stories. Remember, you stole my crabs one time. <laughs> I don't want to hear this shit, guys. What do you got going on this week, Tarzano? Same night, Wednesday night, off the rails in Worcester, 8 o'clock. I have a fun show, a bunch of great comics from the Worcester and Massachusetts area. I'm doing like 30 minutes. I'm really excited. All right.